Hello miners, Rusty here. Looking to do some knife trading or selling. Uh, pretty simple. These knives are $10. These knives are $15. We're going to ask $12 for that one. We're going to ask $20 for that one. We'll go over each of these knives real quickly. Uh, I do want to say what I'm trying to do. I can't ask $10 for a knife and then spend $7, $8 dollars uh, shipping on it so we need to get 30 I want to get like a trade I want to bundle three or four or five six knives uh, trade for something like uh, Savivis, Kaisers, Kubis, Knuckles, anything EDC, multi-tools you guys name it uh, throw it out there multi you know little EDC flashlights so getting off the Kick off the, tonight here. We got an aluminum frame handle, tip down, carry only. Uh, did do a review on all of these. No jimping, spring assisted knife. Actually, nice blade grind and came fairly sharp. Uh, I'm just not carrying it. Good lockup. I think it's a decent knife. So that'll get you, you know. $10 looking at for trade value. Then I got a CITV on. CITV on. I had one of my viewers give me that name. I paid 14 for this, but you know, they're looking at 19 if depending on the handle color. Does have D2 steel. Uh, if you guys saw the video on this, you know, that's good uh, snappiness. It has horrible lock bar, uh, you know, lock bar access. It's, I can't tell if it's got a lock stick or what it does. I did cut a tomato in the video uh, with this one and that's what you get. You get a stained D2 blade. So, but it's kind of cool because it's almost that zebra. It's not stained out here. It's got some there. It's not Stained here, you know, maybe if you guys have seen those um, ZT knives that have the stain on purpose. So, I have not wiped off that tomato juice. Uh, this one's decent. It's not super sharp. It's a big, chunky knife. So, uh, hoping to get, someone will give me $10 for trade on that. What else we got? Oh, a Smith & Wesson. These aren't bad knives. They just don't excite me that much. Uh, so if you take a peek at this one, I believe, and I don't have my glasses with me. Oh shoot. It's uh, probably 8CR. I was pretty careful to get 8CR steel on these. Uh, and I think that's what this one is. Nice tanto, uh, nice pocket style knife, and got a little, you know, keychain thing, that's one thing I kind of talked about. I don't like how that'll come off. Liner don't lock, but you should be able to, you know, put this in a purse, in your truck, in your pocket, your fifth pocket, and have a little blade with you. And I uh, don't remember what I paid for that, but we're looking at $10 there. Forgot what this knife was called. And this is really, for 10 bucks, guys, this is a pretty cool knife. Uh, it's a lockback, and it's what they call the swing guard. I almost don't want to sell it for 10 bucks. Who makes this one? Oh, Dispatch Knives. Uh, but I do have to warn you, eh, I tried to sharpen this, and I was not having any luck. I was sharpening like a chrome bumper. I mean, I don't know if they got chrome on this sucker or what, but if you guys want a little challenge, I got a little bit of work done on it. But, a little hang up there. You know, I guess it might be doing better than I thought. I don't know. I almost hate to let her go now looking at it. Oh. But, 10 bucks. All right, guys. What else we got? Oh, now, just released a video for this one recently. 
This is the mam. Uh, this is the sheep's foot. And this one, the liner lock does not work on. So they're sending me a new knife. Uh, these run $13, $14, fifteen dollars Well, you guys, if you're not happy with the $10 on it, let me know what you would take for it. It's a, you know, it's a nice, I like the sheep foot. It's a thin blade. Uh, I think I did some dropping on this since the video. Yeah, it's clean up. I mean, it's definitely a working edge. So, it's not, not smooth. And as long as you're always, when you're cutting, if you're cutting in the downward position, you know, you'll probably be okay. So, we'll throw that one out there if anybody's interested. Next we have, I think this brand is called Cool Hand and it's got some sort of a nice g10 swirl almost like a tucson has no it's just a simple knife we got no milling in the liners it's a heavy knife and i tried to put an edge on this this is probably the my dullest knife very very thick behind the edge there heck you can see even trying to put a 20 degree on there uh, it's such thick grind still uh, but then it does have this little thing it's called the bomb uh, warning you guys not very sharp so don't get this one if you oh wow look at that all right well anyways cool hand so we're looking at 15 for this actually has pretty good action just a little heavy oh I'll, I'll set that off to the side oh we are looking at this with armor i forgot what this one's called eagle claw something like that 440 st uh steel on this w a you guys aren't going to find a nicer knife for 15 dollars really uh, it doesn't fit me well. It's too wide here and you got a little bit you can feel this pocket clip right there uh, But let's see if we can get the Yeah, so I did get it broken in for you No blade play and you can access lock and close it. We're talking $15 uh, I think you'd be happy. I think the 440c done right uh smith and wesson oh there's cleft i think these are 22 dollars knives it's spring assisted and it could be 7 cr uh, steel i don't remember let's see it's actually got the original yeah there it's called the cleft original edge on it and i just touched it i can tell it feels pretty sharp Oh yeah, this one is sharp. Uh, it's just a little heavier for me than I like. And I don't really care much for spring assisted knives. But I will say I think uh, for $15 you're probably not going to find you know, too many knives that are, are nicer than that. Well, what do we got here? This is my very first knife. Uh, it's called the Camillus Scorn. And I don't have a pocket clip for this. It's got Oz 8 steel. It's got, uh, what do you call that? Um, oh, titanium coating. So, and it's got flippers and thumb studs. So if you want to do either of those. But it's also thick behind the grind there. Uh, this was the knife I first learned to sharpen on and if you watch the video it did come with like a chip from the factory which is one of the reasons I've never bought another Camillus. Uh, I have taken this apart and I have oiled the bearings. It does have bearings. Uh, it does have, it's a free spinning pivot so you know you gotta get a Torx, 
you know, wrench, not a wrench, but a torque screw in there on both sides. And not, it's actually not too bad. So these actually, I think I paid 26 for this. I think I finally got a decent edge, I think. And I've seen these, these retail at 40. In fact, some places still have them at $40. Uh, it's got two pieces of sort of like an FRN material. So if you take all the body screws off, this black piece, this brown piece kind of tucks under it. Um, I wouldn't take it apart unless you needed to do some maintenance on it though. And I got it working. I, I drive in my truck sometimes and carry that. So yeah, I got her tuned up. Oh, uh, what else? We'll move on to a Smith & Wesson fixed blade. Did a review on this. It's very hard to pop out. I think it's getting easier. And I compare this to a butter knife. If you got a butter knife, and let's, let's get this focused here. Smith & Wesson 993, so we can Google it, get a idea of what the price is on these. What I say on this? I said 12. Um, maybe this is my 7CR, I don't remember. But yeah, if you just get in your kitchen drawer and hold a butter knife, it's very similar. <laughs> Excuse me. Except this has <laughs> those ridges. Uh, and then, you know, it's got this. You can get one of those uh, quick clips or you can put it around your neck. The only thing about that is... You know, this chain isn't something I plan on. I don't I don't trust it to be that sturdy. Uh, I did get this knife, and, and, and I like this knife. This is the Kershaw Husker, and it'll run you over $20. We're gonna ask $20 on it. It's a stainless steel frame, relatively heavy. Uh, it's relatively small, it's on the small side spring assisted with speed safe and a heck of a you know very nice blade very thin and slicey in fact uh yeah let's check her out here factory oh it, it's just butter guys it is super so very happy with that 8 cr 13 mov steel and frame lock and Rusty doesn't like it because his fingers must be fat and I see okay, it's hard to push that over and that's the only thing I don't like about this it's a little small but I can get a hold of it it's got a little bit of jimping the blades very very useful uh, for EDC it reminds me of my uh, Kershaw Oh, so sweet. Um, it's just not something I find myself carrying or using. And it has uh, should work work well. So, okay, guys. Well, comment or email me at rustyminerknives at gmail.com. I'll try to put the prices on the screen as I go along, and I'll try to... Uh, put my email address on this video as well and just let me know what you got if you want to try some of these knives out so thanks for watching I should mention only two of the knives come with the original box so you're probably just going to get them sort of wrapped up a little bit but the uh, cool, the cool hand does come with a box and the dispatch knives um, I don't have, oh, yeah, I do. And I can put the MAM in its box. All right.